So I just made another template. This one is for my neck profile. Uh, so uh, I didn't show you how to do that because it's the exact same way as when I did the, the template to make the jig uh, for the body. So you basically just cut a, the piece of paper that the, the, the photocopy of the piece of paper, you glue it on and then cut it up, clean it up and then you end up with the template. So that's that. Uh, this is my neck blank. You saw that I uh, edged it on the jointer and then I put it to the the drum sander because I didn't want to have snipes on the, either side. So it took a bit longer but that way I've got more of the, the neck blank usable. Uh, so you can see here I wrote fretboard. That's going to be the side where the fretboard is going to be glued on. Uh, so this is like already pre-sanded in the drum sander. It's true. It's straight. Uh, the reason why the fretboard is going to be on this side and not the other side is because when I looked into the amount of figure showing from one side or the other, I could see that more figure was going to be exposed that if I cut it this way than if I go the other way and go onto the lesser side of uh, the amount of figure because the, the obviously figure shows more on one side than the other. So this is the side that I want to have for my fretboard. Uh, here I wrote it's the true edge so that's the, the edge that ended up in the on the jointer and if I put my square here it's 90 degrees so that's the side I want to reference uh, once I go onto my uh, my bandsaw. Uh, because it's 90 degrees to this side when I cut my cuts everything is going to be 90 degrees so that's my reference side to, to stay straight. Another thing worth mentioning is uh, right here uh, I already pre-penciled it uh, it's the quarter sawn side so normally when you you build the neck you want to have the quarter sawn uh, vertical into the neck uh, so basically you want to have quarter sawn not flat sawn to deal with uh, the figure, to have like the maximum figure showing onto uh, with, with quilted, like curly wouldn't be an issue because it's actually showing on the quarter sawn, but with uh, quilted it shows on the flat sawn. So if I, I, I like if I would put my template here and then trace it, I would lose most of my figure of the quilted, and it, even the figure I would have would not would not look quilted. So what I want to do is put my template. And that's the side with the fretboard. So I want to put my uh, template here. And then with that, I'm going to create my profile here. So that means that once my profile is cut, I'm going to have flat sawn on this surface. Now there's a one way that we can remedy the string because there's going to be eight string put, uh, pulling onto that uh, fretboard or on that neck. So what uh, we decided to do, me and, uh, and Barry, uh, which is the customer, uh, we're going to use a, a carbon fiber truss rod. So what that does is once th this truss rod, which, which is like a very, very sturdy piece of like uh, carbon fiber, like it's, it, there's no way that's going to move. Plus it's got a, a pretty nice sonic properties. So what that does is once that's epoxied in to the fretboard, the nut's going to be added right on top of it and then the end of it's going to be in the, the joint, like the tenon to the body. So all the vibration from the strings are going to travel through that, which is going to increase Im immensely the amount of uh, resonance coming from the neck. Well, I should have tested that. Now my, my clamp is in the way. Maybe it should be good now.
So what I've done here is I transposed my angle so I end up with a 90 degree with the fretboard. So when the nut goes all the way against the uh, ebony peg head overlay, uh, I don't have any gap. So this is going to be my 14th fret, so uh, I added the nut here and then uh, with my uh, fretboard uh, layout I added, uh, I, I put it on here after I put the, the marks here and then that's where, uh, I don't know if you see it here, but that's where my 14th fret, so basically my dovetail is going to be in that section and this is going to be in line with the end of uh, the body at the top. Here I made a hole at the end of the peg head where that little uh, notch is just to be able to realign the peg head on this side because I'm gonna be cutting it uh, from the back side. So I'm gonna realign with my center line and then retrace the peg head and then I'll be able to cut it on the bandsaw from this side.
So I spent a few minutes off camera to do a bit of layout. So the first one was here, the 14th fret, so I went the whole way around and I used the, the square from the bottom instead of the top because the top's got the six, uh, six degree slope. So uh, I went all the way around just so I won't lose it because I'm going to have to cut on an angle which is going to be the heel for this section here and then when the heel is cut here I'll be able to start doing the dovetail here. Uh, the heel cut is going to go all the way along here on both sides so that's going to remove a lot of material but at the same time you don't want to go all the way to the corner because most of the neck is going to be done by hand. Another thing is that I used uh, the tuners uh, to, to check uh, how much material I would have to remove from the bottom because uh, those are going to go straight through and then there's a bushing at the top so I need to have some clearance so I, I don't know if you see the line I'll try to make it a bit darker but I have to remove about like just under 3 16 uh, it's a, a fat eighth uh, from under the whole bottom side and I'll do that on the belt sander So we've got the, the neck roughed out. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right here because, like it, it, like I said, it's roughed out. I'm not gonna do all the finished sanding and all that stuff just now. I'm gonna wait to be a bit further ahead in the, the build. So the next few steps coming up are gonna be the dovetail joint uh, from the neck to the body of the instrument. So that's gonna be a video coming up. Also on the peghead here, uh, I'm going to have a uh, mother of pearl inlay of uh, the name brand. Uh, I'm going to do hand cut uh, mother of pearl inlay. So that's another video coming up. I'll put like the, the holes to uh, the tuners as well in the peghead in that video. But uh, basically for now, I'm going to wrap this one up. So I want to thank you guys for uh, stopping by and watching. If you're new to my channel, you can subscribe right here on the, on the link here. I'll also leave a link in the description for the whole playlist of this build if that's something you want to see more of. So that includes the, the building of this uh, body here and, and the neck. Don't forget to like and share. And as usual, I wish you well.